Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring here in the Altus Plateau in the East Windmill Pasture. And I'm guessing maybe that's the West Windmill Pasture. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, wait. If all these are windmills, that's a lot of windmills. Ooh, that's a lot of windmills. Very peculiar. Very midsummery, if you've seen that movie. And if you haven't, um, don't consider this my personal recommendation, but I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. Whatever that says about me here, are my stats. Go ahead and pause it if you want to know any more. But. I said that I wanted to get some runes and that I was going to do so off camera. I did not do that. So instead, what we're going to do is I'm just going to see what kind of damage these creepy folks take and see what kind of runes we get out. Oh, hello, skull hammer. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> Ooh, that's not the same color, but are those eyes the eyes of madness? Hmm, I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's go get my <laughs> my. Rune. I just I just love it. I just uh, oh wait, we need to take this. That's right. I love the music that they play. I love it. Honestly, it's some of my favorite music. That and the the what is it? Ancestral spirit. I think both those boss fights were. Oh, this makes it look even creepier now. I dig it though, I dig it. Alright, so they hit kind of hard. I also had low health and I probably should have healed up. You know what I could do though? I could actually use these exploding folks to deal with it for me. So what I'm going to do is actually this. Get my runes, take care of you, get them all to start chasing. Whoa, oh, okay, they actually do recoil, that's good to know. Yeah, just like in the Undead Settlement. That's perfect. That is very, very useful. In fact, they're actually using some of, whoa, some of the same weapons as them, which is kind of cool. There we go. That's working nicely. Run into it. Done. I would not say no to your weapon. Actually, these are decent runes. I mean, 280 for rather weak enemies. Okay. Now what? Uh-oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. Whoa. Get on torrent, get on torrent. What's up with this little waterway? Is it gonna be land octopus? No, no land octopus, just some zombies. Probably just some easy zombies for refilling your flasks, I imagine. Oh, we got some nascent butterflies, nice. So what am I doing today? Um, well, I've, I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind and I do want to follow the volcano manor quest line. All right, so this is not a frenzy rat. Let's go kill this guy. Let's see how much he drops. Let's just sneak right up on him. Oh! Now, great. Whoa! You might be taking reduced damage because you're a magician. Oh, are you using the cannon? You are. And you don't hit the big guy, really. That just doesn't seem right. Uh oh. Rock sling. We'll just zip around doing... Oh, wow. You take not much damage at all. Let's get some tears back. You don't actually even get stunned either. That's kind of... Uh, that's a little scary. There we go. 1,300 runes, though, for you. I can deal with that. What did you drop for me? Oh! Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Haima Glintstone Crown. Please tell me... And that's a battle mate. Wow, that's an actual battle mate setup. Also, Blue, you need to heal, like, right now. So let's deal with this guy. A little bubble action. Big hit, big hit. There we go. Great. Another 392. Let's take a look at that. That's exciting. Uh, to the detriment of FP, kind of stinks. Oh, and strength. One of the glintstone crowns bestowed upon Rhea Lucaria scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy. Scholars of the Haima Conspectus sought the power to quell conflict and to this end study the sorceries of cannon fire and the gavel, which we, of course, do have. Whenever war broke out and the academy sealed its gates, only Haima scholars dared venture outside. Seclusion is no way to foster discovery. It is only a convenient form of escape. Now, I wonder, was this Haima? That might have actually been Haima. Assuming that that is kind of a one-off kill. So why am I getting runes? I'm getting runes 
to go in. Oh, yeah, this is the West Windmill. Hmm. There's just not much here. That's kind of peculiar. But we're getting runes, so we can hopefully go and upgrade some staffs. I would like to go and get some more magic staffs upgraded. That's kind of the plan. And I do see this guy. Yep, he's not hiding. He's not fooling anyone. So I'm just going to cheap, cheaply kill him. There we go. I want to start comparing some of the spell powers. <laughs> giant Ash... Excuse me, Giant Rat <laughs> Ashes. I got to be careful with how I say that. Okay. So giant rats, huh? They don't require FP. Oh, they're free. That's interesting. The rat spirits appear distant from the summoner, swarming upon their victim to start the fight. Oh, you can actually use these guys to initiate. That's pretty cool. Even as spirits, these vermin seem to multiply endlessly. Enhancing these ashes can increase their numbers. That is cool. So, as you actually upgrade it, they will, uh, you'll get more and more. I wonder what the, the limit is. That'd be really cool to find out. That would be very cool to find out. Anyway, so we have a good amount of runes now. I could go buy that book. I could go buy that book from the merchant, which I think I will do. And then we'll go back real quick and just see how many more we can... Wait a minute, that's... That's Gold Mask? Oh, I thought I just went from here to here last time. No, I went all the way from here to there. All right, that's Gold Mask. Well, that means we need to go tell Corin. If he's still there on the road, he is. Okay. Whoa, this is exciting. This is exciting. Not that I care about incantations at all. Not on this playthrough. But we could always change. So real quick... Let us... I don't know why I didn't realize that's Gold Mask. I mean, he's wearing a gold mask. <laughs> okay, so we bought that. Perfect. I know, I know. You must apologize. You feel terrible. That's fine. Let us head over... Hey, look at that. We are already changing our plans. Is anyone surprised? No, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, would you... Would... <gasps> you booger. Why are you so powerful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you just imbued your sword with frost. Come on. Bait an attack, and then... There we go. Might as well. It's a decent little... Rune acquisition here. There we go. 690 for the two of them. Yeah, I am kind of a carrying great sword converter. I mean, Carrying Slicer for the FP, I think, is still by far the better of the two. But this, the the wide range and the ability to actually use it in in succession is pretty cool. Hey, uh, Corin, I found him. Ah, oh, well then. Do, do you sport with me? From your description, it can be no other than the Gold Mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the Golden Order and its benevolent rays. And to you too, my sincerest thanks. That's that's it? May the Golden Order shine through you. All right. So are you now going to go find him? Well, let's find... What if he kills him? What if we get there and he's just standing over the corpse of Gold Mask? Also, well, let's look at the map. Let's see. Still says, uh, he's not there. But he's not listed as by... Oh, you know what? Do you think that he died on the way? That seems to often happen. When you actually convince an NPC to move somewhere, they don't make it, and they die, which is just a shame. Uh, oh, no, he's there. He's actually kneeling next to Gold Mask. All right. No, he's not. He's just very short next to Gold Mask. Don't you dare tell me you've learned a lot from him, because he just stands there and points at the tree. Also, I don't realize that's a minor herd tree right there. Oh, that's actually the one I've already done. It's just down there in the um, in the ruins. Okay. Ah, we meet yet again. Thanks to you, I have become acquainted with the noble Gold Mask himself, and taken my place by his side, as you can see. 
Have no fear. I will still teach you incantations as before, though we must do so quietly, such that we not disturb the great master's cogitation. The master is always deep in contemplation. While I frantically attempt to record his wisdom, the movement of his finger, and though I am yet to comprehend even the daintiest morsel of his wisdom, I know that this, this is my life's calling. The Golden Order has bestowed me, talentless as I am, the great duty of documentarian. Th this? This is your duty? I mean, I can't help but... Never mind. Um, yeah, so... The Golden Order. Can we now talk to Goldmask? Nope. <laughs> Indeed, I is this it? Is this all you can do? Did you learn any new incantations? I don't think you have. Unless you learned the Discus of Light. No, we... L I think we knew about that, didn't we? Gift from the young Makella to his father, Radigan. Maybe, maybe he did just pick this up. You know, I can use this. It costs 11,000. Goodness gracious. Okay. May the golden order shine. Well, I guess, I guess that's it for now. Maybe something else will happen and maybe we'll get a gesture or something that will allow us to interact with gold mask. I am not sure. So real quick, back to round table hold just to see how many upgrades we can get out of what we have. And then, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go kill Istvan. I don't want to, but I want to see that. I want to see that quest and see how it plays out. So that's what we'll do. Also, is it possible? Did I look already for Dee's brother? The ones that are entwined together? I have, yeah. I'm sure we'll run into him again at some point. Well, I took you from that man to lay out your own. Okay. So, we can get our carrying up. We can get the Staff of Loss up. Hmm. We need more threes. We can do one more here. But also, let's look at the other ones we have. So, Astrologer Staff. Let's get that up. Get the Glintstone up one more. And, oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. What else can we do, though, with what we have? I can do the straight sword. What about misery cord? Can we do misery cord? I would rather misery cord. Oh, here we go. All right. That was pretty decent. Got to get misery cord back in that rotation, though. Okay. And 102 runes. We're not doing anything else. Sorry, Roderica. Didn't mean to just abandon you like that. Uh, let's get Misery Cord actually back on. There we go. And, you know, what? let's do another Ash of War. Let's see if we... I just broke some chairs. <laughs> let's see. Um, do we want to do that Golden Slam? Ooh, or the Flaming Strike? Or the Lion's Claw? Let's do this. Let's let's try this. Let's actually do... Oh, so you can't do magic with this one. That's okay. What's going to be the best then? So that's 251. Oh, yeah, by far, Keen is going to be the best. So let's do Keen and then a Misery Cord. I think we'll do the Flaming Strike. What's the Flame Art versus Flame? Like, what's the difference here? Oh, it adds Faith Scaling. Oh, okay. So this is... Still just strength and a little bit of dexterity. This is actual faith, which I don't have much uh, in the way of faith. So this would bring me up to one, t excuse me, 210. And this would bring me up to 208. Okay, so we'll just do standard on, oops, didn't mean that. Didn't mean heavy. I wanted standard. There we go. Does this have, this has no skill. I kind of want to try the spinning what am I using right now? I have the carry Okay, and that already has it built in. So I think I want to try that out. I think that'd be fun. So I'm still under medium load. Okay, this setup seems acceptable to me. So we are going to go and try and kill Knight Istvan. So we're going to start here at the Warmaster Shack, which is now deserted because Bernal is in Volcano Manor. And um, yeah, the 
the boss that was here is uh, is defeated. I kind of want to go and try the one at the isolated merchant in Kalid again, but maybe not just yet. Maybe not just yet. Give that a minute. Why are you here? Is there an Everjail? It's not even an Everjail nearby. What are you doing? Hmm. It's gotta be something else that dictates they would be around. So where is Istvan just out and about, or is there a summon sign, or do I have to invade? So he's, he would be over here. This is where we were invaded before when we approached this Coliseum. Uh, looks like we have a summon. Okay. Oh. We are invading. Hmm. I found a summon sign that actually caused me to invade. Oh, he's basically us. Oh, friend. This is going to knock you right on your keister, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, you poor guy. Okay, that's fine. All right, little flask. You know what we need to do? You know what we need to do. This! Ah! <laughs> yes. Oh, you're all out. I'm sorry. Come on. Okay, you jumped over the flames. Whoa, that was a big old gravitas. Okay. Oh, big hit. If I got caught in that, I was done. Okay, what do we want to do? I kind of want to do another full moon just to finish it off, but that's kind of ridiculous at the same time. Oh, what did I, did I really just do a Cerulean? Of course I did. Really? He's just doing the jump R2s like any other player would. All right, here we go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, no, no. Oh. GG, GG. Yep, not even mad. <laughs> that was a terrible play. I just wanted to be stylish and kill him with a moon. Is that, is that too much to ask? You died with, I know I died. I'm aware. I still feel guilty. It's not even a real player and I feel guilty. Istvan's just another Tarnish just trying to do his thing. Oh. You don't actually go back. Okay. Well, that's not too bad then. Let's grab my 102 runes. Don't want to leave those uh, for anyone else to collect. Speaking of runes, remember the time I have a great rune from Radon and I've never activated it? Alright, let's do it again. Terra Magica. And Moon, quickly. He's gonna get me. Yep, he got me. Oh! I didn't realize that was right there. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, perfect. Shame on you. No! <laughs> Shame on me for thinking I had the wrong thing equipped. Knock him down, knock him down. Okay, at least stun him. That's good, that's good. Goodness gracious. This is going much, much worse. Jump. <laughs> oh, that does a really good job knocking him down. You know what? Excuse me. Do a little collapsing stars. Nope, that's too slow. Yeah, unfortunately, that is just way, way, way too slow. Okay, slow down. Slow down there, Istvan. You are very resistant to physical magic or physical damage, aren't you? Oh, jumped right over it. Okay. Okay. This might be a little bit more of a challenge, which I... His eyes kind of look crazy. I guess I'm not seeing his eyes. I'm seeing his visor. <laughs> they looked a little weird, though. You know, if I got that set up correctly the first time, that would have been a good shot, but I did not. So, let's get prepared now. Let's do Terra Magica. Okay, Terra Magica. Right into full moon, which I should really just line these up better. Okay. 
Terra Magica, come on. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. Oh, you. Walk into me. Yikes. Okay, you know what I didn't do is my flask. I could almost get a backstab on him when he does that. Don't, don't cast, don't cast. Oh, no. Okay, run, 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 run. We have a bigger arena here. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to knock him down. You are the worst. This is obviously not going to happen this time. Or, or maybe it is, because he's dumb. But so am I, and I'm about to die because he's charging. I don't like what you're doing here. East fan. Yeah. Oh, he got almost had me. All right. Well, unfortunately, cheesed. But it is what it is. We got him. So what do we get? Other than a whole lot of guilt. A rune arc finger calling. Okay. So just like a regular old PvP match. Let's head to the manor and tell Tanith what we've done. Oh, we're gonna have to tell that other guy what we've done as well, aren't we? Oh, scaled set. Cool. Oh, please don't be sad. Please don't be a sad story. East Fan has come here to save his wife and wife and kids. The corroded metal is reinforced with rock hard scales, making it highly effective against non-physical attacks. Hmm. East Fan is one of the few wizen tarnished who survived to this day. Well, not not anymore. He doesn't. Oh, that was a bummer. All right. Let's see. What horror I have started here. I'm probably just going to get more invasion quests. You've completed your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant tree and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. This is your reward, as promised. Magma shot sounds awesome and something I can't use. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to Valor. Is that all you have for me? Now you are a recusant. I am pleased. Huh. Now you are I am pleased. Okay, well, let's read about Magma Shot. Wait. Wait, is that not an incantation? Oh, it's a sorcery? Fires lump of magma that explodes on contact, and it charges one of the sorceries developed from the magma of Mount Gelmir. After discovering the ancient hexes of Gelmir, Rikard, a son of Queen Renala, brought them back into practical use as new forms of... So oh my gosh. Yes! Oh, okay. I love that they're mixing up that fire is not always just associated with faith. So now, oh. All right. I mean, I just talked to Tanith. I don't know why I need another letter. Why do I have multi? Oh, because it's a new quest. Riley the Idol. Altus Plateau. So where is Riley? Is it? Possible somewhere I haven't visited yet. Oh, no, right here. Okay. All right. Well, um, let's talk to Raya. Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls? Like breathing or slithering scales? Oh, fie, what am I saying? It just is impossible. I must be tired. Okay, so that sounds like what we've heard of before. There's something Sometime going on here. Like oh. Breathing and slithering scales. There's a, there's a serpent here somewhere. So, you've blooded your sword in the hunt. Then I shall introduce myself once more. Banal. A recusant, just like you. 
Recusants have particular battle arts, styled to our methods of slaughter. Why not add some to your repertoire? So that is in fact Bernal, and do you have new? Oh, you do have some new arts. I don't think any of these are new, but eruption. Large and colossal swords, axes, and hammers. Never going to use that. Skill of the knights who serve at Volcano Manor. Slam armament into the ground, spawning roiling lava, which spouts up upon release. That sounds so cool. And I think that might... Oh, no. Oh. Assassin's Gambit. Hold on. Skill that masks the user's presence at the cost of a self-inflicted wound. Grants near invisibility and silences footsteps. This is going on Misery Cord as soon as I can. That's awesome. You've come to understand now, eh? To take power and make it his own, the recusant must hunt his own kind. To raise the flag of revolt against this sanctified pillaging, we recusants must become the most wretched of predators. All you can do is laugh. Well, until we meet again. All right. Anything from you, Dialos? I always resented these hands. Their pale complexion. But that won't be the be darker tale of how... Nope. Nothing new there. Well, I guess uh, no time like the present. Let's go... Let's go hunt Riley. It's on the way to the Shale Castle. Okay, I'm kind of excited about this. And I'm definitely going to be putting on that skill right now. So let's see. So we want to memorize spell... Um, actually just get rid of everything let's start with terra magica which is where what do i need for this again the tibia summons 20 faith and eh, that's a lot we can get there okay so terra magica followed by ranala's full moon followed by i think we're gonna do you know i i like just the gravity well let's do that and let's go back into carrying slicer for a bit and then what else do we want? We'll set up a full assassin build at some point. Um, let's do Magma Shot. Maybe that's it for now? Or do we want... No, let's do the bubble. There we go. We'll just do that. Okay. So now we have to go backwards. This is exciting. Oh, I can't wait to get that, that Misery Cord. Ash of War, that's gonna be that's gonna be so fun. That's gonna be so much fun. Oh come on, let just let me ride. There we go. And we are heading north. Let's see how well this one goes. And can I head north? Maybe I have to use that spirit spring. Which is right up here, perfect. Oh, and another spirit spring. There's a torch up there. That's just an enemy, though, right? Hmm. Okay, yeah, those are just some weak enemies. Oh, there's a cool little bridge, and... Oh, actually, I think I might need to cross that bridge in order to get there, but that can't be a good idea. Unless it's... No, it's going to be down in the ravine. Oh, man. Well, then I don't want to be up here. <laughs> this is too high. Can I get this way, then? And then maybe just hop down. Maybe I'll find some of those steps, those large stone slabs. Is that survivable? Uh, I don't think so. It could be. It could be. It may not be. Let's try it. Okay. Nope, oh, nope. I hate these things. Uh-oh. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. Where is that sign? I think I may have passed it at this point. Yes. Okay. You know what? Just put a... Uh, take that off. Put a beacon right on it so we know... When we're there. No, I'm just, I'm not concerned about you. All 
Alright, here we go. And Riley the Idol. Well, I mean, if he's idle, right? Should be okay. I'm so so excited about this magma shot. Oh, shoot, there he is. Oh, he's coming quick. Oh, we're in trouble. What do you have? Why does that look like a different type of Reduvia? Ready? Awesome. Not not super great. Oh, that was fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, let's do gravity well. Uh oh, quickly. Good, good. He's fast, he's fast. Oh, run. My goodness, I want I better get that dagger. That is cool. Run! Oh my gosh. Yep. Barely barely got away from that. Alright. You know what we could do? Maybe. Excellent. Ah, right. <laughs> what is that weapon? Holy cow. Alright, I don't think we're winning this round. Oh, right. Rolled right into it. Okay. Alright. <laughs> he's not going to give me a whole lot of time to mess around, is he? Also, he's using the Krepis crossbow. I want that dagger. Give me that dagger. So where was it again? It's just this way a little bit. Yeah, let's let's start with this. And okay, where is his summon? Just a little ways again. Okay. He does stun pretty easily, but he's also very, very nimble. Quickly, quickly. Go. No, no, no. He's gonna. Ah. Uh. Okay. Pull him. Don't hit me. Okay. Back up. Okay, he's gonna heal. He's gonna heal. That's okay. Oh. Where is he? Way too far. Way too far. Come on. Are you going to shoot me? Again? Well, that was... That was good. There we go. Walked right into it. Perfect! Alright. Karen Slicer, you're just too good. Too good for your own good. Rune Arc. Finger Remedy. All right, let's go turn this in, and then that's going to be it for now. And I guess we'll just keep doing these until we've advanced this quest, I guess? Oh, what did I get? Oh, Crepus's Vial, which still looks like a talisman, and Black Key Bolt. So that was Crepus's Crossbow. And let's see. Was that a talisman? It was. It eliminates all... Ho, <laughs> ho, a ritual implement used by round table hold assassins. There was a time when Tarnish, who had strayed from guidance, feared nothing more than utter silence. I like that. Oh, I like that. Okay. Well, we didn't get the dagger. Didn't get the dagger. Let's see if there's anything else for us. Or if I just have to keep getting letters. Ugh. I wonder if that means I could have summoned Riley at some point. Probably. I see you performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. Serpent Bone Blade, is that what he was using? Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge squabbling for crumbs like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering our lord indignant has refused to scurry about fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us 
If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> so we are trying to earn our way to meeting Lord Rikard. Oh, we got that new weapon. So it's a katana. I don't think it's that. Oh, oh, oh okay. Sinister katana modeled after a serpent bone. The densely packed row of spines that jut away from the cutting edge are coated in a lethal poison. Oh, that's a cool looking katana. Oh, that's a very cool looking katana. And Raya's gone. A red letter. That's different. Oh, wait, no. It's under the info. As the final request, the letter is vivid red. Juno Hoslow, Knight of Blood. He can be found in the mountaintops of the Giants. I haven't even been there. Find the red mark on your map. So did I just zoom out? And Is this it? That's got to be it. Look at this. That means I have all this yet? This game is huge. Oh. Hmm. Dialis is gone too. You. A recusant through and through. I knew you had it in you. Take this. A letter to... Why did I get a letter to you? A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. What? The first ones to ever sit at round table hold? I don't know these people. <laughs> okay, Vargrim, the Raging Wolf, and Errant Sorcerer Wilhelm. They can found be found in Lane Dell. Does that mean I'm gonna fight next to him? Because that's pretty cool. Oh, there's Vargrim. Do I have to okay, there's Juno. And I don't see the other one. Okay, that's probably okay, but where? Where's Raya? Where's Dialos? Where's the that guy? Brave Tarnished, what is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness, am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual, despite this appearance. Brave Tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zorias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. I think we'll just uh, pick up from here next time. What in the world is going on? Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you next time.